Hi there, Paul Thompson here from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to show you Ambient Guitars, our collaboration with Leo Abrahams, a multi-talented producer, songwriter, and incredible guitarist. Leo creates amazing sounds, and this library contains almost everything you could possibly imagine to use on your productions from the guitar. Everything from ethereal, beautiful ambient soundscapes, all the way through to properly mic'd up, heavy distorted guitar. Let's dive straight in. So you can see within the inspiration folder, there's a huge collection of absolutely beautiful pads and ambiences and sounds. And many of these are made in extraordinary creative ways. Um, this is an example of um, the Trissart uh, guitar that Leo really loves. Um, and he's playing it using kind of pencil drop sounds onto the strings. And that sounds like this. One more example using an infinite reverb setting to take the sound of the guitar and expand it out into this incredible pad. And finally taking the sound of playing behind the bridge and turning that into a playable sound. Next up is a folder of distorted sounds. The motivation behind creating these was often when you hear distorted guitar in scoring, it sounds a little bit cheesy. And if you're not a guitarist, it's quite hard to get a good distorted sound and know what the components are that will help create that. So within the distorted folder, there are 18 completely distinct guitar setups with different guitars. There's a, a fantastic Gibson SG has been used for some of these, a Dan Electro Hornet, the Trussart for some of them. Um, and, and going through different pedals and different amps, there's also a clean signal for each patch and finally an amazing room sound. So let's dive in and have a quick listen to a couple of these. First up, let's check out the Dan Electro Hornet going through a Selma amp recorded with a 121 ribbon. Um, and we've just got a muted pluck sound up so you can hear the sound of the amp in the room. Very, very dynamic. You can hear um, lots and lots of uh, control over the dynamic of the sound in there. So what we're listening to there is the first amp and the room, the amp on its own. Here is the second amp, which is a bassman recorded with a dynamic mic. The third amp is a swart. Let's check out the room sound on its own. Here's the clean amp, which is a showman recorded with a one two one ribbon. Finally, the post pedal DI, and these vary in all of these sounds from a kind of nice, warm, overdriven pedaled sound um, through to kind of totally insane overdriven stuff. So check out this one. And in interesting in combination. So you can get the DI plus one of the amps. You could even combine the clean sound, uh, the clean amp and the distorted amp. Or even the clean sound and the slightly distorted room sound. So 
So as you can hear, there's a huge, huge color palette there for you to select uh, the different balances, the different types of sound, the different, uh, the amount of distortion you want, the kind of adding the room sound adds a kind of heaviness to the sound. Um, or if you want to keep it really tight, then you can go for the post pedal DI um, and you could even put that through amp simulators and so on to get exactly the kind of amp and room sound that you want through your own guitar outboard. So if we go back to our amp one and room sound as a kind of default and let's have a quick listen to some of the different playing styles that you've got within this library. So straightforward plot sound, you've got your power chords. And it's worth just checking those through the different amps as well. Now you can hear that there are um, release sounds of the fingers moving on the strings and those are controlled by this releases slider. So if you want to reduce the sound of that or eliminate it altogether, that's incredibly easy as well. Let's check out the clean sound of the power chords. And the post pedal DI. So the muted pluck is what we opened with got the muted power chords, got some fantastic bends, playing behind the nut, a great selection of chords, some fabulous harmonics, various different kind of effects that you can use um, to add uh, kind of realism and punch to the part that you're playing in. Different kind of effects for palm muting, for you to program a really kind of tight sound, and then a variety of special effects, all kinds of things from slides to these kind of tuning up effects and things like that. So there's lots and lots of creative sounds within there. So let's check out a couple of the different types of sound within the library. So with this setup, we've got different muted plucks for the bridge pickups, the mid pickups and the neck pickups as well. So check out on the clean amp, uh, the difference in sound between these. Obviously these are gonna affect the sound that you're getting through the amp quite significantly. So check out through the first amp, um, each of these different pickup positions. And the same through with muted power chords. Finally, with the post pedal DI sound with a really kind of nice fuzzy sound on this one. And as you can hear, again, it really changes the sound using the different pickups there. Can hear you've got a huge amount of gain there on the harmonics and on the palm the dead mutes here as well tons of great useful sounds in there and finally let's check out the peel pluck sound on the neck this is the kind of a playing style that christian's particularly fond of and we've kind of recreated this on a couple of these guitars And with the amp and room. Checking out finally another one of our sounds, uh, Sagalu, and uh, this is the post pedal DI. Really great dense distortion sound there um, and checking out that the clean signal, the clean amp signal.
there's a huge variety of incredibly useful sounds, even just within the clean amp signal um, without any uh, kind of, you know, distortion or overdrive distortion at all. Um, but going through these three different amps again. And final one before we move on, um, another really great distorted sound. And finally, the clean amp. The third collection of sounds in the library is called Inspiration Distorted. And again, it's the same kind of feel as the original first Inspiration folder. But these sounds are generated from the organic sounds of the heavily distorted amped stuff that we've just looked at in folder two. And this is the first patch that you're seeing that uses some of the features within the eDNA engine. And later we'll come on to a load of presets that we've created which use all of the powerful features of the eDNA engine. But the next folder up is Enigmatic Pads. And these are sounds that you will recognize the names of if you are a fan of one of the earlier libraries, Enigma. Here's one of my favorite sounds in the entire library, beautiful lineman sound. incredibly atmospheric. There's lots of sounds in here that just give you instant kind of landscapes, instant kind of moods and feelings. Um, so it's some really beautiful sound design in here. Finally, from this folder, a sound that uh, exposes the source of some of this stuff, Rust Bow. Um, and these are uh, many of these sounds created on the Trussart guitars that Leo is so fond of. Beautiful, almost kind of shooty box type sound. Okay, let's move on. Collection of sounds here um, with presets created from a separate session of purely distorted um, pad creation.
Moving on, the sixth folder has this incredible Evo grid. And the Evo grid is built from a variety of different techniques for producing feedback. So each line of pegs relates to one specific sound which has been recorded across the keyboard. Now this is um, great to just use as a kind of a, an original basis for making a pad sound. Again, you've got the three different amps plus the room. So if we add the room into that sound as well. But each line of pegs has a totally different type of feedback. Now, as you'll see, the color of the pegs changes at this point. And if we click this dice, we'll see not only an incredible randomized feature to enable you to generate um, loads and loads of really inspiring different presets, but you can see what the changes are as you go from one color on the pegboard to the next. Soft distortion, heavier distortion, and then chaos. So here is some of the heavier distortion. Let's try randomizing within that category. And finally, let's check out some of the chaos sounds. So as you can hear, within the grid, some amazingly useful sounds, and you can also mix them all up so you can get different sounds across the keyboard. Um, really very, very useful and inspirational tool. Let's check out the next folder. So folder number seven, ARPS and chords. So there's some really useful sounds in here. It's all focused on played chords. Um, there's nothing that sounds quite as good as the, an actual guitar playing a chord for real. Um, because you, you get all the resonances within the strings. Um, and there's a lot of different variety in here, but everything in here is a multi-note sound. So check some of these out. And again, for all of these sounds, you've got an option between an amped sound and a clean sound. So the fully amped sound. and the fully clean sound. And you can even oscillate between them. Lots and lots of control there, some great chords in here. Moving on, we've got some great stuff which we've called odd loopers. And this is all stuff that's played through guitar loops. Here's some behind the bridge stuff.
So some great stuff there, little rhythmic um, elements, little bits and pieces that you can use to add kind of sparkle to your tracks. Let's check out a few of the others. One of my favorite collections of little weird particle sounds. <laughs> Some of these sounds have got me out of trouble on many occasions. Let's have a quick check of one more. So there's a lot of really useful stuff in there. Moving on, atonal. cool sound and some great deep stuff you can get from this as well. Great kind of crunchy low res sound there. There's some mad stuff. Finally rubber hits. Finally the artist presets folder which has got a collection of presets that Christian has made collection that I've made here are a few of Christian sounds. Anything from Christian that has the word fave in or awesome is obviously a good choice to start. It's how he remembers his favourite ones that he's created. And let's check out a couple of mine. You can see we've both got a kind of an 80s theme developing. You can see that I've made my own version of the lineman pad. It's one of my favourite sounds in the whole library, as I mentioned. I 
and just see those dusty kind of vistas in America, um, those kind of Midwest long telegraph lines just going on for miles and miles. Absolutely fabulous stuff. Um, Queasy Pulse Short. And finally, so lots of interesting track starter ideas in there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look through Ambient Guitars, our collaboration with Leo Abrahams, incredible guitarist, amazing producer and songwriter, very, very talented musician. And here is, he has given you an entire package of almost anything you could possibly imagine to do uh, with the guitar to create amazing soundscapes, heavy distorted sounds for your tracks, and just a ton of inspiration straight out of the box. Thanks very much for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.